Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing season one, episode 74 of Pokemon Indigo League called Round One Begin. So we start off with um, Pellet Town. It's basically an Oaks lab watching the um, league. And we have Ash is officially entered and you start at outside matches. You don't go inside the stadium until you win like three rounds. Then we cut to where Brock is crushing on the uh, girl telling him that, and then we cut to where Ash starts on a water and it's versus someone named Mandy. And uh, then this uh, is the third match of the overall league. And then we cut to where Team Rocket's posing as TV reporters, and Mandy is like a magician and is hella stuck up. And it's like, oh, I don't interview. Like, who's your co who's your cable? Like, who's your channel, whatever? And they said they give a channel. And like, uh, I only do a bid networks. I want the numbers. And basically, um, refuses the interview and, um, and then leaves. Then, um, they have, um, then Jesse and James kind of subtly slam radio. <laughs> and so that was interesting. And then we cut to where Misty offers, uh, her water Pokemon, but he says no. And then we got to where Gary mocks Ash. Then Ash has to call from Professor Oak and to swap Pokemon to get Krabby to use in um, the water battle. So he does, and then talks to his mom as well, and then tells him, "Oh, we have a bunch of people from Pallet Town rooting for you, for you." So that kind of makes him a little bit no more nervous. Then Ash meets Mandy, and like I said, he is snotty AF. And then we cut to where Misty is worried about Ash's battle because Krabby's not like seasoned as, you know, Squirtle is or, you know, his other Pokemon are. Then we cut to where Gary uh, why, um, wins his match. And then we cut to where Ash is very nervous when um, he's up next for his match. Then we cut to where Team Rocket um, actually encourage Ash, but then the Jennies uh, throw them out. And then we have Brock crushes on the Jennies. Then we cut to where is Executor versus Krabby. And Executor creates a Whirlpool. And Ash can't return Krabby. So, um, but he does manage to get out and uses Vice Grip on Executor. And then uses Leer and then literally caves out Executor. Then it actually evolves into Kingler. And so it's Kingler versus Cedra, and he KOs Cedra, <laughs> then Golbat as well. And then um, he's just winning. I was like, oh, good for you. And so it was like a landslide uh, win, and he goes to hug Krabby. And then you're supposed to be like a good sport when you are talk to the media and stuff, and he did not do that. He literally was goofing off in front of the media, which I thought was funny. And that was the end of the episode. I gave this episode A+. Plus. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was funny. I thought the battle was good. And you get to see Krabby battle and evolve into Kingler. So I really, really enjoyed it. And that's what I did for this video. So this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Do you agree, disagree? Tell me your thoughts down below about um, the league and um, the episode and stuff. And um, what other shows you want me to do. And don't forget to subscribe because it does help out the channel a lot. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.